Hey everyone, welcome to the NRL Round 25 Punches Preview by Wiki. Look, this one's going to be a really quick one. It's going to be probably be about 20 minutes. I'm going to smash through what you can expect from Wiki, how to get the best out of us, go into a really, really quick recap of last round. Um, and we've had a few new few new people into the group um, and also obviously Wiki Premium. We've capped the Josh Puppers, so the more expensive membership. But as I said, guys, almost everything, Linktree, Discord, tips, Odds comparison to all that kind of stuff is free. We want to grow the group, the community as much as possible. Um, and it was a pretty cool, uh, cool round last round. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into last round's tips, um, re- like a one or two minute preview. And I'm going to try something different. Uh, sorry, review. I'm going to try something different with the preview this time. I've got a timer in front of me. I've got my phone. I'm going to try to do every single game in 60 seconds each. So obviously, like our marketing person, Shane, he's been amazing for us this year because I do this podcast and then he, clips a bunch of stuff out and puts it all over social media. So I'm going to try to stick to 60 second previews of every single game. And obviously guys, if you want more detail, what I've also started doing the punches preview article, which I know is the most popular thing on our website. Um, I'm going to start doing that on Thursday. So I did that last week as well. So basically you'll have like a full write up explaining all our picks on the Thursday and then every morning of game day. So like you know Thursday or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I just spend like 15 minutes just making sure I check all the prices and let you guys know which picks are still at a good price. Because the one thing I do say to people is if you're going to try to get along to following our tips, it's awesome. You know, we, we've tracked, uh, we tracked, well, I've tracked my performance over the last couple of years to see it's somewhere between 30 to 40% profit, which is amazing. Um, but I know from the wiki tips, for example, it's sitting at somewhere near the same mark. But what you can't do is you can't just say, oh, I'll, I'll get on this one $67 on forward and oh, I didn't get over our stuff and I'm not going to do this anymore. Like that's <laughs> like, you know, it's 67 to one for a reason, right? So what, what we're aiming to do is win long term. So if you see we've got 30 or 40 tips, even if you're putting just a dollar on each, just for a bit of fun, that's fine. It's a lot better than the video that I did last week explaining how bad multis and same game multis are. Yes, they're fun. Yes, you should definitely do one or two a game, five, 10 bucks on them, whatever you want for, for a bit of fun. But you you got to mix that up with our picks, and you know you're still getting big odds from some of our tips. So that leads me into the re- the review of, of last round round twenty four. Um, I'll do this super super quickly. I'll go through the highlights real quick. Um, where do we have it? There we go. Christian Welsh. Where is he? No. Yes. There you go. Christian Welsh first try scorer eighty one dollars. Storm Bay Raiders. It looked like we had a ton of Raiders players, and obviously they didn't even score a try, so they didn't get up. But Christian Welsh is the most unlikely guy that you would talk about. And look, we see Josh King, the other middle forward from the Storm, just like him at $151 earlier this year. But um, no, nah, the Storm were big favorites. Christian Welsh, I think Harry Grant put him over close to the line. I think a few other guys in our group won like more than five grand. It was freaking ridiculous. But um, no, nah, awesome, awesome start Sunday. The other couple were Luke Metcalf, running half from the Warriors. He scored the first try, so that got up at uh, oh, 21. Sorry, I think I said 23 somewhere. And the other one was in the same game that we tipped Christian Welsh at $81 first try scorer. We also tipped the last try scorer, Young Ton of Pay. He's looked really good on the left edge at left centre for um for the Storm. So these are the highs of, um, of last round. I think the lows are pretty obvious. We went, um, we went pretty hard on a couple of the wingers. I hate betting on wingers, and for whatever reason, because the odds were juicy last year, last round, sorry, I went a bit hard on them. So that was a little bit silly. I regret that. But uh, aside from that, I think the other couple of lows were obviously we were we went really hard a few different times on Raiders try scorers here, and they didn't even score a try. You know, I love Papine, Papali, Papali's, Josh Papa is like, well, he pretty much is the best NRL forward try scorer in the last 15, 20 years, um, but he didn't get the job done. Raiders just did not show up. Pretty disappointing. Start from that, guys, we had a few other winners. We had, um, what is it? We had uh, Gagai score the first try, but we had him any time. We had Gamble as well get up. Not first try scorer, but I think we had Gamble any time try scorer in our premium picks as well. Um, there was, what else do we have? I think we had, ah, that's right. I completely forgot about this. So Tina for Asu Malawi got up at $8 anytime try scorer, which was a pick in the article. But our premium guys also had in first, second, third at about 18s, which was awesome. So that got up. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> we actually had a pretty good bloody round last round. Um, but yeah, 
I'll, oh, actually, I'll speak about one. Oh, this, I forgot how shit this was. Okay. So in the Titans game, their bench back, uh, a guy called Keeney, he's actually playing fullback this week. Anyways, where are they? Titans who are playing the Sharks. This was Friday, oh, sorry, Friday at 6 p.m. So this dude was on the bench and he was paying $51 to score the first try in the second half. And I was like, that's almost double the price he would be if he was actually on the field. We'll play him small stake just for a bit of fun, just in case he's on. Well, I think they had an injury and he was on. And he was literally like this far from scoring. He literally like reached over, got the ball down and stopped like this far from the cert, like from the line. So Keeney almost got up for his 51s. Lockie Ilias, where is he? Lockie Ilias in the article was only a pick for any time try scorer. But uh, we had a, a double like 25 to 1 multi. And we had, uh, who was it? AJ Johnston 2 plus, Rava anytime try scorer. That all happened. And we had Ilias anytime. And he gets the ball down. It's given a try. And then the bunker takes it off. And that loses us this anytime play. And it loses the 25 to 1 multi. And I think we had two other scenarios. We, we had like Dolphins. We had a bunch of their first try scorers. And because there was no try in the first 20 minutes, their bench forwards came on and fucking Ray Stone from the bench scores the first try. So we got the pick right. It's just that it took so long. It was a bench middle, not a not a starting middle. Exactly the same thing happened with um the Knights game. So in the second half, the dogs held out early in the second half, even though they were freaking gassed. And we had Jacob's brother, Daniel. I think that must have been a premium pick. But um, he actually got over the line. I think it was a forward pass or whatever. But a middle forward from the Dogs did score the first try in the second half. But because they held on so long, it was Leo Thompson, a starting forward, who shouldn't have been on for the first try in the second half. It was a really good round last week, as you guys can tell. But so many close misses that could have made it absolutely freaking amazing. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop myself. Otherwise, I won't be able to... Um, move on to everything. So what I'm going to try to do, where are we? So this is NRL.com team list, guys. This is up every week. You can check it for yourself. Uh, I've got my time already. I'm literally going to go a minute on each and then I'm going to rush out of the house. So uh, first up, guys, Cowboys, Sharks. This game is, oh shit, actually, let me stop the timer. Cowboys, Sharks, Thursday night up in Townsville. Going to be a really, really good game. These guys are basically fighting it out for a top eight spot. In terms of team changes, we've got... Hazelton is back for the Sharks. We love betting on him as a try scorer. Um, and Nanai is back for the Cowboys. They're missing some punch and they're coming off the bite. I love the um I love the Cowboys to cover the, the 4.5 or so that they are at the moment. Uh, in terms of our preview for this game, guys. Oh, where are we? Um God damn it, the time pressure is getting to me. All right, cool. So Cowboys Sharks, the picks that I've got here. Um, Mulatalo and Katoa, great value at the moment. Try scorers, uh, anytime try scorer, sorry. Katoa, anytime 215 on Ned. Mulatalo, $2.05 and $11 first try scorer, on, both on Bet R. Love Cam McKinnis. He's got a couple of tries recently. He's $67 on Dabble, but by far my favorite. ULA, the Sharks, first and last 51s on Dabble and 365. And Luki, last try scorer, 26 on Dabble and 365. Love those. Bang. That was exactly a minute. Holy shit, this is kind of fun. Um, all right, let's move to... Sorry, guys, if you're watching this, I know I'm flicking through a few screens, which is a bit annoying. Uh, you know what? I might just fix that. I'll close the stuff that we don't need anymore. Um, I'll close last week's preview. Uh, I will close the OCT. Um, guys, I'm not going to go through the OCT. This one comes trying to shoot through. But as you guys know, the resources to make sense of the odds. This is the premium one that you're looking at, so I'll close this. But um, the resources to make sense of all our stuff at Wiki is here. Get the best out of Wiki. It is all free. A couple of articles, a couple of videos, all on our link tree. Just Google Wiki link tree and you'll find all of this stuff. You can check out for free and then on our Discord, ask us any questions that you have. Cool. Um, and you can join our, all our social media. The Probably most the most active things that we've got is our Discord um, and probably our... Say so TikTok nowadays, but um, anyways, so you can follow us wherever. Cool. I'm gonna close this stuff and just go bang, bang, bang with team. So second game, guys, 6 p.m. on the Friday, um, in New Zealand. This is in Auckland. Uh, Warriors v Manly. Key team changes. Barnett's out for the Warriors, but they get Nickel Clockstad back and they get Bunty off ball back, which is huge. Manly miss another couple of players. Ben Travoyevich and Brad Parker from the left edge. Are both out, both out. Sorry, so that, that means Morgan Harper's playing. 
Um, Warriors have it all to play for now and, and Manly don't. That's as simple as this game is for me. Um, in terms of our tips for this game, we've only got a couple. So we've got Adam Pompey, anytime try scorer at 3.30 on Sportsbet and Bet R. Uh, Watini Zelezniak, DWZ, he's been on fire. First try scorer. A lot of the wingers are good prices on Bet R. He's priced at $8, which we love and our model likes. Uh, Sipley scored a try last week. Unfortunately, it was the second v Penrith. First and last 71s on sports, but love that. He's been looking great. I've been calling him in the article for a few weeks. So good luck and responsibly on this one. Guys, that's the minute up. Reset, get into the next game. Bang. Eels Roosters up at Combank Stadium, 8 o'clock, a Channel 9 game on the Friday. The the Eels, their season's gone, unfortunately. Um, they're missing Mitch Moses. They're missing Andrew Davey. Davey's not a huge loss because they do get... Well, actually, they do get Campbell Gillard and Sivo back. So I think Moses is a huge out, but I think the Eels should still be okay. And I think we can't get overexcited about this Roosters team. They do get Crichton back. Sam Walker, Walker is on an extended bench. I think the well, the Roosters actually now look like they, they might actually have more of a shot than the Eels because the Eels have to play the Panthers still. Um, and it's going to be a really, really good game, Channel 9 game on the Friday. In terms of tips, we've actually got quite a few. Pedersini at $4 anytime on Neds. Hutchison, $5, 10 sports bed. Uh, in terms of that, Sio Wong is a really impressive edge back row, 34s on double first. Collins and Campbell Gillard, 67s on double FTS. Last one, Will McGregor, love him, 61 FTS second half sports bet. Bang. Oh. This is, this is actually kind of fun. Um, all right, cool. Next game. Uh, this, <laughs> so this game is huge. Just uh, actually, before I get started, guys, if you listen to this podcast, um, Play Up, which is uh, – so Draft Stars, we've worked with them for like three or almost three years now. Um, they've given us some free – actually, two years, sorry. Uh, they've given us some free tickets to this game. Um, so I'm going to try to put out some contests and stuff. But, look, if you're one of the guys uh, – if you're one of the people, sorry, who have been contributing a lot – to the discord and you're one of the sort of like one of, one of the people who chats on there a lot more than happy to just give them away for free for guys um so this game tigers dolphins it's at combank stadium at 3 p.m by the way uh the reason why this game is huge for us a lot of the wiki premium guys and a few of the other people on the wiki discord we all got on tr- tigers plus 4.5 now the line is Tigers minus 8.5 that's a 12 point middle so we're going to bet both ways obviously on different bookies and if it lands in the middle, we win both bets. So it's going to be a really, really exciting game. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to this game. So I've got 10 tickets to give away. So if you are interested, hit us up on the Discord. I'm um, more than happy to hand, hand them out. Cool. Let's get into the preview. Tigers, Dolphins, Combat Stadium, 3 p.m. This is the biggest uh, start that – well, it's the biggest line in favor of a uh, wooden spooner in like 15 years in the NRL. Dolphins have a ton of outs. So the Dolphins are missing – Lemuelu, the second rower, Marshall King, their hooker, Kenny Bromwich and Raystone, the middle forwards, and the hammer, which is obviously like a lot of players missing. They do get Aitken back, and that's kind of it in terms of like regular first graders. Uh, and the Tigers are pretty much full strength. They've got Bula, Brooks, Coruscant, and their forward pack looks really good. Junior Tupau, Stafford Toa, Nofaluma, and the backs look pretty good as well. Um, getting into the pick skies. Luke Brooks scored two weeks in a row, 460 on Dabble and Sports Bet scoring time. Love Herman SA for FTS and LTS, 67 on Dabble, and also better in Sports Bet as well. And Bromwich, if you find him, Jesse Bromwich at 81s or more, you'll find him on Dabble and Bet Right, both of our affiliate partners. Bang. That's a minute. Next up, we got. Uh, da, 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 where are we? One second. So we got Titans, Panthers. The Titans, uh, it's, a, it's in the Gold Coast, 5 30 on the Saturday. That tight end spine, Keeney, tiny rookie. Jaden Campbell, he's good, but he's still a tiny rookie. And Tom Weaver playing his first game, and he's tiny as well. So that's three guys in their spine, and Chris Randall, who's like their second or third choice hooker. So that tight ends team, aside from Tino and David Fafita, sorry, is um, not looking great against the Panthers team, who get Luai back, who get Kenny back, who get Spencer Lenu back, and they got Tyrone Ty- Ty- Peachy back at left center, which is not a huge deal, except for the fact that it pushes Hosking out of there, which is actually quite important defensively. Uh, from a picks point of view, we've got Luai anytime 360 on Dabble and Sportsbet. Love that. David Fafida and Tino, both really good good odds on a couple of different bookies, but we want to see 34s for David Fafida, 67s for Tino, FTS and LTS. Love that. And shop 
Aaron Shop, 51s, 365, FTS, LTS. Damn it, I just went over the minute. That's right. Um, all right, next game. Da, 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 da. All right. Um, so Dragons v Storm. This is in Sydney at 7.30 Saturday night. A couple of team changes. Lomax and Frankie Molo return for the Dragons. It should help them a little bit, but they're still missing quite a few players. And the Storm gets, uh, well, they do have Will Warbrick back, but he hasn't been named. So I think they just, the Storm played extremely well against the Raiders. I think they'll just march on. They need to keep winning for a top four berth. Uh, in terms of picks, we've only got a couple at the moment. I'm sure we'll find more prices closer to game day. But at the moment, Rava Lava, he's been on fire. He scored four tries two weeks ago. He scored a try last week against the Rabbitohs. He's anytime $2.50 on better. Re- I model really likes that. Uh, Eli Katoa looked really good. I think he scored a try. Yeah, he did score a try last week. Uh, he's next to Jerome Hughes on that right edge um, for the Dragons. He's $23 on Dabble to score the first try. Eli Katoa, really like that. Uh, aside from that, um, we'll have a Dabble saying, yeah, multi for every NRL game, and we'll have that for this game as well. Bang, minute. All right, uh, let's move on. Knights, Rabbitohs. Cool. Knights, Rabbitohs, Sunday, 2 p.m., day game at the Knights' home ground. Um, this game is going to be really, really good. So Hastings has been named, but most people reckon he won't play, and Adam Clune likely takes his spot. Bradman Best is back for the uh, for the Knights, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, in terms of the Rabbitohs, they've got Totola, Cheekham, Sele potentially to be playing. So I think, have they been? No, Totola hasn't been named. He's in the reserves, but he's still around. So I think... Both teams get slightly better. Um, Hastings is a loss, but they've still got Ponga. They've still got the rest of their team. I think they should still do all right. This, should, this game should be pretty much 50-50. Daytime game, perfect for footy. Um, we've got a ton of picks. I can't possibly say all these in a minute. A couple of the ones I love. Davi Moale, first dress score, second half, 81 sports bet. Daniel Saifidi is probably my favorite pick of the game. FTS second half, 71s on sports bet. Shaq Mitchell at 91s or above uh, on sports, but I think on bet right um, as well and on double um, and LTS for Shaq as well. All right, guys, got to got to move on. Um, where are we? Reset. I didn't get to cover a lot of the anytime try scorer picks. If you're listening to this, by the way, but um, uh, doesn't fit in the minute. But I'll just go Gagai, Maju, Ilias, Task, Young. It's like five different. Like they're all just really good value. Um, on a bunch of different bookies, but you'll have to read the pre- preview article. I can't go through all of them if you're listening to this. So um, let's move through to the last game of the round. Raiders, Bulldogs, these teams were pathetic. I thought they were both going to put up a fight last week and keep it within a try. They were both pat- pathetic and both got absolutely spanked. Um, but <laughs> I think both teams will be fine this week. Like the Raiders just didn't show up against the Storm. The dogs had a couple of sin bins, had a whole bunch of excuses, but I reckon they'll actually start gelling. I think another bet game that you don't want to be betting on in terms of the result, um, but I think in, ter- well, in terms of out, sorry, Jacob Preston, um, he is suspended. They do get a... Uh, and Tavita Pangai Jr., if you haven't heard, is retiring from the NRL to start a boxing career. Should be really interesting. Anyway, Jared Croker is back at left centre. Um, obviously, they're missing Seb Chris. I think that'll really help them with Ethan Strange out the rookie. Uh, in terms of tips, Tapine, Papali, Sexton, all at first try score at 51s on Dabble. Pangai Jr. at 61 sports bet FTS second half. They're the two best picks, uh, the three best picks for, uh, for this game um, from Wiki's try scorers. Bang. Okay, sure. I think that's it. Um, so I think, again, guys, just to really quickly round off, as I said, all our picks, tips, odds comparison tool, content, Discord, all that kind of stuff is free. Um, if you do check out our link trade, obviously help us out. If you could like, follow, subscribe, all that kind of stuff on you know Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. It is a lot of work to be putting in all this content, and it's been an awesome ride this year. We've grown significantly. We've had a lot of success with our tips. Um, it's been really nice to actually like grow out a community and have a bunch of guys chat to about sport all the time. Um, we've got a couple of things. We've got like a Discord link right here at the top. Bet right and double. Um, they've actually. Well, Dabble's awesome because you can you can follow me, Wiki. Um, you can copy bets. You can get rocket boosts as well. So that, those are the main things that I like about Dabble. The thing I like about BetRight is they're just they're a reasonable bookie. You know, they put out really good try score prices closer to game day, especially uh, they got one dollar ninety three lines an hour before kickoff. They got SGM promos, um, and they also do like a lot of voided bets for try score bets if like you know your player was concussed or wasn't on and all that kind of stuff, which I found really helpful. Um, but aside from that, I won't talk too much about Wiki Premium because Josh Poppers, Poppers is sold out. Uh, we will definitely 
have to increase the rates for Wiki Premium next year. We will still keep almost everything free, by the way, but for the really small percent, like the 1% of people that are really keen on our stuff and happy to pay for Wiki Premium, um, it, uh, it is a really good idea to test it out. The cheaper baby lady news stuff is 20 bucks a fortnight, I think. Really good idea to check that out this year. Get into our premium chat, see what we get up to, see how we do things. Uh, and then that way, if you are keen on it next year, um, you've at least got a taste of what we get up to. Um, all these links, all our content and stuff will be updated by the or for like Wednesday, I'll go to Sydney time. And as I said, just once again, repeating, get the best out of Wiki. All these resources, a few videos, a couple of articles, they're all free to check out. So please do that and ask us any questions on our Discord um, and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can follow for us. Anyways, guys, I have to head off. Uh, enjoy your week. Gamble responsibly. Enjoy the 43 rounds to go. Bunch of teams playing for final spots. It's going to be really, really fun. Good luck. Thank you.